How's it going, everyone? The PlayStation Store's Black Friday sale has officially kicked off north of a thousand deals, and uh, yeah, a lot of major titles I can already see right off the top uh, being discounted. We'll go through it all, so buckle up. There's going to be a lot of coverage. There's a lot of physical deals as well, so like I'm going to be swamped with stuff to cover for the next couple of days, but uh, bear with me, guys. Bear with me, but uh, let's get right into it. I haven't looked through the entirety of the sale, of course. Uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage is 20% off for $39.99. Deluxe Edition is $48. I feel like this might just be the standard price, and it kind of, um, kind of proves my theory about this game and Ubisoft as a whole when they discount their games. They'll discount their games steeply when it comes to games that they're gonna monetize for a long time, but it comes when it comes to a game like Mirage that was originally just an expansion, and here it's more of a standalone experience rather than something that they can monetize for the long term. They're gonna have it hold up in price for quite a while. At least that is the conclusion that I've come up with. But, um, yeah, if you want to check it out, 40 bucks. It's kind of pricey. Ubisoft games, like, we've been, we've been pretty much, like, acclimated to them being 50% off a month after release. And that is not the case with Mirage. But what are you gonna do? Diablo 4 is 42 bucks. Digital Deluxe is 54. Ultimate is 60. Mortal Kombat 1 is 49. UFC 5 Deluxe Edition is 70. Uh, Resident Evil 4 is 39.59. That is 30 bucks at Walmart. Like I said, guys, when it comes to physical games, uh, these prices are mostly gonna get beat out, and you're gonna see a lot of that when we talk about it. Just off the front page, I can tell that. But RE4 is a tremendous game, one of my favorite games of the year, really among the top three to five for me, um, and it's easily worth that price point as well. Street Fighter 6 39.59. Like again. Capcom may as well be Cap Goat at this point because Street Fighter 6 is honestly among the top games of the year as well. Even as somebody that's not super into fighting games, that game had a great single player campaign for a fighting game and uh, incredible presentation, aesthetic, soundtrack. Uh, all of the elements outside of the competitive play that I can't really speak about, I loved out of Street Fighter 6. So, $39.59, Deluxe Edition's on sale, Ultimate Edition is on sale as well. It Takes Two is $12, Hogwarts Legacy PS4 is $36, Hogwarts Legacy PS5 is $42. Uh, like, this is one of the bigger ones that's gonna see a much steeper discount when you talk about buying it physically. Target's gonna have it for 30 bucks, and I'm sure Amazon's gonna price match it. I know some of you guys are digital only, but I feel like it's important to mention stuff like that just so, you know, if you guys are okay with either route, you know, you can pick it up a little bit cheaper. But if you're digital only, Hogwarts Legacy is a great game. Um, it's like literally right below my threshold for my top games of the year. Like when I look at Jedi Survivor, Final Fantasy 16, Resident Evil 4, uh, titles like that, Hogwarts Legacy is probably a tier below. And I would put that, you know, among some of the other really solid games of this year. Like I would probably put Street Fighter 6 among the Hogwarts Legacy tier. Um, it, just because, you know, I'm not crazy about fighting games. But Hogwarts Legacy is great. And uh, I love the gameplay in the game uh sure would it have been nice to have more content um maybe but like it's still a sizable game for what you're getting and uh, you know i don't need every open world game to be 200 hours at length final fantasy 16 is 42 dollars that's about the price point it's gonna be physically it's 40 bucks at some other spots but really solid game obviously gonna get some dlc i'm sure they're gonna do a complete edition at some point so if you want to you know play the long game that is a option for you guys but uh 42 bucks for final fantasy 16 is great uh this is among my top games of the year for sure Final Fantasy 16 I just thought was great from a soundtrack standpoint, gameplay standpoint, the action combat was so enjoyable. Some of the best boss fights that you're gonna see in video games in general, hands down, not just JRPG, video games in general, they are insane. Um, there are some mundane elements. At some points, the game comes to a screeching halt in terms of pacing. Um, the side content ain't too great. And uh, yeah, but overall, the pros greatly outweigh the content. I would definitely say give it a shout. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is $12. Let's see if the complete edition is on sale. It is, and it's down to $15. bucks. Well, it's not that $9.99, man. $15 bucks for Witcher 3 Wild Hunt all day. Um, you know, it runs great on PS5. And obviously, Witcher 3 is uh, a tremendous, tremendous game. Crew Motor Fest on sale as well, if you want to check that out. Uh, see, like, they're putting that at 40% off for $36.42 for the cross-gen edition. Um, that's a game that they're going to monetize for a while. And if you remember, Crew was a game that they were giving out free weekends, instantly discounted the game. You, you can kind of tell where they're going about that. Uh, God of War Ragnarok on PS4 is 30 bucks. On PS5, it is $39.89. Obviously, a game that every library should have, but uh, would be like... Uh, would be, you know, nice to see it a little bit cheaper, but uh, Sony first party games these days do hold up in price. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is 42 bucks. 
uh, one of my favorite games of the year, as I mentioned. The performance mode is a lot better now. Uh, I thought it was a significant improvement upon Jedi Fallen Order, and I know some people liked Fallen Order better, but, uh, you know, I thought Jedi Survivor had an awesome narrative, especially the second half. A lot more content than Jedi Fallen Order, and just a great game all around, so 42 bucks for that. Um... You know, we're gonna see it cheaper. It's available 35 at Amazon right now. I think it's gonna be 30 at Walmart, so you can get it a little bit cheaper, but uh, still, I would say that's worth the pickup. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Deluxe is 20 bucks. Gotham Knights is $14. GTA 5 is 15 20 for the PS5 version. Gran Turismo 7 is $40 still. Aye, aye, aye. That's a little bit pricey for my liking, but what can you do? Um, you know, it is what it is. Lords of the Fallen seeing a discount, 30% off for 49 bucks. I mean, that just came out, so that is a nice discount on that. Cyberpunk 2077 is 40% off for 30 bucks. Uh, great on the PS5 now, great game in general. So, uh, I even liked it, like, I know as blasphemous as it's gonna sound. I didn't think it was as bad as people made it out to be at launch. Um, was it perfect? Absolutely not. Was it a disappointment? Absolutely. But, uh, I remember, like, I legitimately was getting texts about people saying it was, like, the worst game of all time, and it just wasn't that, guys. We live in a world where Rogue Warrior exists, so, like, come on now. Um, the Cyberpunk 2077 and Phantom Liberty bundle, the expansion that just came out, is $56.79, so that's something you can check out. Lies of P, $48. A lot of people consider that to be one of the best games of the year, so take their word for it. If you want, Skyrim Special Edition is $8. That's a great deal. I mean, Skyrim's a game that I'll always go back to, so there you go with that. Horizon Forbidden West is 20 bucks, um, and it's 30 on PS5. If I recall, the PS4 version should have a free upgrade to the PS5 version. Yeah, it does. Why is Sony doing this? Yeah, Sony, you're literally just fleecing people $10. Like, if you look at the page, it literally says... Horizon Forbidden was the free digital upgrade to the PS5 version. I hope people don't get sucker and buy the PS5 version for 30 bucks. Like, come on now. The complete edition with the Burning Shores expansion and a bunch of in-game items and uh, content, that's $39.59. You should probably just get that so you get the expansion as well. Um, pretty good buy there. Burning Shores itself is 13 bucks. Actually... Um, you can get Horizon Forbidden West for $20 and then get Burning Shores for $13 and that'll be $33. Um, and, uh, yeah, you don't have to pay $30 to get it on the PS5. You can just get the PS4 version and upgrade it for free. Uh, I don't know what Sony's doing there, but, uh, <laughs> nevertheless, there you go with that. Miles Morales Ultimate Edition is $39.99. You can get Spider-Man Remastered Standalone, $25. Bucks. That is still egregiously expensive for a game that came out in 2018, but what can you do? Um... You know, and it was like, a, it, it was a weird thing that they did with Spider-Man Remastered, pulling that game from Plus Extra. I'm sure they're going to add it back to Plus Extra when uh, Spider-Man 2, like, the hype dies down, and they'll be like, alright, we'll throw that in there for now. And, uh, you know, you know how this game is played. Sky, uh, Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, $18 on that. That is great. Uh, Payday 3 is 32 bucks. Probably shouldn't get that. Destiny 2, uh, a bunch of that is on sale. Last of Us Part 1 is at $39.89. I would really recommend that at 30 bucks. I still think 40 is too much. Like, and this is coming from somebody that legitimately considers Last of Us 1 one of his favorite games of all time, but uh 40 is still a little bit steep for me, but that might just be me being cheap. Look, if you feel like I feel about Last of Us 1 and it's one of your favorite games of all time and you're dying to replay it, it this is a good upgraded release. The accessibility options, the visuals up uh, the visual upgrades, it's all great. Would have been nice if, you know, owners of Last of Us Remaster had an upgrade path to this or something like that where uh, you didn't have to spend $70 initially or even 40 now. I'm always going to be a little bit critical when it comes to stuff like this, maybe overly so, and uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that, but you know, uh, let me just conclude by saying Last of Us 1 is one of my favorite games of all time, and I would personally say, uh, you know, wait till 30 bucks, uh, but that's just my opinion. Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Watch Dogs Legion bundle, that is 22. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Ragnarok Edition is 25. That's actually pretty good. Red Dead Redemption 1 is on sale, $40. It is 30 physical over at Amazon. They did up this to 60 frames per second, so... Man, we're, go we're gonna give credit to Rockstar for doing the bare minimum, but for as good of a game as RDR1 is, that 60 FPS goes a long way, and hell, I'll give Rockstar that credit. Now just go upgrade the FPS of Red Dead Redemption 2, which is on sale as well for $19.79. If they upgrade the FPS and upgrade RDR2 for, um, you know, for PlayStation 5, I'd spend $10 on that upgrade. Let's be real, they're gonna sucker us with even more than $10. But, uh, yeah, I'm just waiting on that RDR2 upgrade now because, uh, I played RDR2 like an absurd amount of times and, uh, I would damn well play it again if it got upgraded. Uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is $30. That seems to be the basement price for that game, not getting any lower. 
a lot of in-game content on sale. No Man's Sky is 30 bucks. Uh, I mean, that's a game that's going to give you a lot of longevity. Final Fantasy VII Remake is $15. That does not get you the uh, DLC, but Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade is $15.19. Oh, that is a damn good deal, and it looks like they lowered the price point of this game to 40 bucks. 15 and change for FF7 Remake and the DLC, that's a damn good buy. However, it should be noted, if you buy Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, you get Remake Intergrade for free. So, you know, Rebirth is gonna be one of 2024's biggest games of the year, maybe the biggest for a lot of people. If you pre-order it, you do just get the 7 remake, so I, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying you could go that route, but uh, I'll let that decision be left to you guys. Um, Dead Space remake is 35 bucks, decent deal there, it is a part of EA Access, however, now though, so you can get it uh, fairly cheap. High on Life, $26, super short game there, Monster Hunter Rise is on sale, Remnant 2 is down to $35, that, ju that game just got its DLC released. Uh, the Ultimate Edition is 49 which will include said Season Pass. Uh, and that DLC was the first of three DLC packs that will be coming. Dying Light 2 Stay Human is $30. I really enjoyed that game, but $30 for this is way too much. Like, that should be down to 20 at this point. It's been, what, like 20 months since the game came out? Like, come on, brother, we can get that down to 20 Sonic Superstars Digital Deluxe is 49 Now, is the Standard Edition on sale? It is, in fact, not. But the Deluxe Edition gets you the extra content pack, Lego Fun Pack, Digital Art Book, and mini soundtrack um so yeah you can check that out dead island 2 on sale gta trilogy is 30 dollars, but uh you know you can make your decision on whether that or not that's worth it. that's gonna be a game that i think people pick up more for a nostalgia standpoint than anything atlas fallen is 39.59 a bunch of older assassin's creed games on sale bloodborne baby 9.99 because we know that game ain't ever again a remaster i think it will but uh it's just funny to meme on it a way out is 449 dark souls 3 baby seven and a half year old game thirty dollars please man bandai damn code from software games like what the hell is this why is this thirty goddamn dollars but uh you you know damn well why it's thirty dollars because people are gonna pay it and uh you know what for the souls titles I can give it a pass, I guess. Dark Souls Remastered is 20 Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin is $20 as well. Skyrim Anniversary Edition and Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition Bundle is $26.39. A bunch of Black Desert deals. Bro, is, is Black Friday the time to put Black Desert DLC on sale? Like, come on, Sony. Callisto Protocol is $24.49. You guys just got that with Plus Essential, so that's not a big deal. Sonic Frontiers is down to $28 for the Digital Deluxe, which actually isn't all too bad. Uh, Tales of Arise Beyond the Dawn Edition is $45. Essentially, you're paying $15 for the base game and then $30 for the expansion. Marvel's Midnight Suns is $18. That's actually really good. And the Premium Enhanced Edition is $21. That's the version you're probably going to go for, but definitely a good buy there. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is $9.99. That's a little bit more expensive than normal. So yeah, pass on that. Uh, DBZ Kakarot, however, $15. And it is available on Plus Extra, but only the PS4 version is available on Plus Extra. So, you know, the PS5 version is a nice upgrade and I would recommend it from that standpoint. Jedi Fallen Order, $8. Obviously, easy recommendation there. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, Division 2. But you guys get the idea. A lot of these deals... Pretty standard stuff. Some newer titles are discounted, but uh, I'll have a look at the entirety of the sale, and uh, obviously we'll do more content and uh, round out the best deals. I know some people are gonna be like, "Ah, the, what, what is this? Black Friday is a disappointment." But um, you know, this is about my expectation level, and it's a big sale. But um, you know, physically is always gonna be where you get the absolute best deals when it comes to Black Friday. But uh, have a gander at it for yourself, and I'm sure more content from us is on the way. That'll do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.